Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Our today's question on string is longest distinct characters in string. The question states that given a string s, find length of the longest substring with all distinct characters. For example, the input string is geeks for geeks, and as we can see that the longest substring with all distinct characters is e k s f o r g, whose length is seven. So our output will be seven. So now let's have a look at the approach to solve this particular problem. Let's consider a string which is d f a b c a b. The right side of the screen shows the algorithm, and we declare few variables, namely length, which is the length of the string. We declare two variables, namely max and current length, and initialize both of them to zero. We also create a vector of type char, which is an empty vector. So initially we traverse the string from i is equal to zero up to the length of the string. So initially i points to the character d, and we check whether if d is present in vector v. Since d is not present, therefore we move on to a else part, and we push that particular character, which is d, into a vector v. And after that, we increment the value of current length. So the value of current length is one. Then we check whether if current length is greater than max. Since the value one is greater than zero, therefore we update the value of max as one. And we increment i. Now i points to the character f. Again, we check whether if f is present in the vector v. Since it is not present, therefore we push that particular character into a vector, and then increment the value of current length, which is two. As well as we check whether if current length is greater than max, and if so, then we update the value of max as current length, and again increment i. Now i points to the character a. A is also not present in the vector v, so we push that particular character and again increment the value of current length as well as max. Now i points to b, so b is also not present, so we perform the same steps. Now i points to c. C is also not present, so again we perform the same steps and we push C into a vector, increment the value of current length as well as update the value of max. Now I points to the fifth location or the character A, and A is already present in the vector at location two. So uh, there is an iterator I T which points to the position of the character in the vector. So I points to A. Then we declare a variable count and initialize it to one, as well as we create another iterator which points to the beginning of the vector. Then we check whether if both these iterators are equal. If not, then we keep on incrementing the value of i t one as well as count. So i t one is not equal to i t. Therefore, we increment i t one as well as count. We keep on doing this until we get i t. Is equal to it one. As we can see that it is equal to it one. Therefore, we exit the while loop and check whether if it is equal to beginning of the vector. That is, if a character was in first place, then this is the condition. Since it is not equal to the beginning of the vector, therefore we move on to a else part and erase the characters from the beginning of the vector up to that particular character, which is pointed by it. So after deleting those particular characters, we are left with the character B and C. So now we can push a character which is S phi, S of phi, which is A, into a vector V. And after that, we update the value of current length as current length plus one minus count, since count number of elements were erased from the vector V. And again, we check whether if the value of current length is greater than max. Since three is not greater than five, therefore we don't update the value of max, and increment i. Now i points to the character b, which is already present in the vector. So again, i t the iterator i t points to that particular character. We declare a variable count and initialize it to one, and also declare another iterator which points to the beginning of the vector. Now we check whether if i t one is equal to i t since both this iterator points to the same location. Therefore, we exit the while loop and we check whether if i t is equal to beginning of the vector. Since i t is equal to beginning, therefore we erase that particular character. That is, we erase b from the vector v. 
and after erasing we push the character s of 6 into a vector after that we update the value of current length as current length plus 1 minus count which is 3 so again we increment the value of i now i points to the location where it is not less than the length of the string therefore we exit the for loop and finally we return the value of max therefore we have the longest substring with distinct characters as d f a b c whose length is 5 so now let's have a look at our actual code the driver code is already given and we just need to complete the function longest substring with distinct characters whose argument is the string s so as we have seen in the explanation part we have created few variables namely length max and current length as well as we have created a vector v and iterated to the vectors which are it and it1 so the main part begins with the for loop where we traverse the string from i is equal to 0 up to the length of the string and at each traversal we call a find function with the vector and that particular character which is s of i and we store the return value in a iterator it so this particular if condition is to check whether if that particular character is present in the vector which is it is not equal to v dot n and if that particular character is present in the vector then we declare a variable count and initialize it to 1 as well as we initialize it1 to the beginning of the vector and then we keep on incrementing the value of iterator it1 as well as the variable count until the condition it1 is equal to it is reached so after the while loop we check whether if it is equal to v dot begin that is if the iterator points to the beginning of the vector it means that uh, it is only a single character which is present at the beginning in that case we erase that particular character else we erase all the characters from the beginning of the vector up to a particular character which is encountered then we push the character s of i into a vector after erasing all the characters and then we increment the value of current length as well as we update the value of current length as current length minus count since count number of elements were deleted from the vector and if in case the character is not present in the vector then we simply push that particular character and increment the value of current length and after all this we check whether if current length is greater than max and if so we update the value of max as current length and finally we return the value max which is the length of the longest substring with all distinct characters so we can compile a code now so the code is compiled we can submit it and it got submitted successfully so if you found the video helpful then do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos on must do coding questions for interview preparation thank you